Just a real quick one here then guys, so we're having a look at uh, Bitcoin as it falls below 10,000, so what's happening now then? We'll have a look at the Bitcoin dominance which is also taking a bit of a knock, uh, not massive, but a bit of a knock. I think this is probably going to continue a little bit, but it, to be honest with you, the deeper that this corrects now, this uh, correction that we're suffering uh, with Bitcoin, um, I imagine the alts will also follow suit and um, it's only when we start to see a leveling out that we'll start to see a real um, a real sort of boost in the alts. So we we've, we we started up here earlier on today, and we've come back down. We find a little bit of a boost. This is uh, obviously going to change if we continue to fall. Might be too early to call that fall now. We are at ten thousand. Could we could find ourselves at ten thousand for the rest of the night? Maybe into tomorrow before it decides. Might even bounce up from there. Who knows? But what I'm saying is that. Um, for this kind of alt run that people are waiting for, and um, just uh, hold on to your horses because this is the um, the total market cap of um, all altcoins, including sorry, excluding Bitcoin. And um, what do we see? We we still see a continuation of that 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 drop really, um, and this pretty much being at our uh, this level here where you see my mouse cursor, that is the main support area. So if Bitcoin dominance drops and uh, the alts drop too. We really need to be bouncing off this area here, which is, um, I mean, there's so many numbers there, so just just remember 6477, and that is where we're looking to find our bounce, and, and, and then you can see, we'll zoom in for a bit of a closer analysis on that, on the five minute chart, you can see that we we also alts are plummeting too, we, you know, they're, they're not escaping this, um, this, this pullback. Now, obviously some alts are holding up uh, stronger than others, this is the entire market cap of all alts combined, so you're gonna you, you're gonna obviously expect that to, to drop quite dramatically. One coin I'm staring at quite a lot actually is uh, EOS, and EOS has actually done the reverse as Bitcoin. It's been having a hard day though, I should say. So I mean, it's done some big moves over this last few days. It is consolidating. It looks like it might be uh, consolidating um, uh, to. Uh, to its bottom level for the moment, so maybe we're looking for a bounce on this one. Um, we're not reaching the bottom of this cloud, which is good. We are underneath uh, moving averages here on the hourly. We'll go to the four hourly, see how that looks. Um, four hourly. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't look great, but we are sort of finding a bit of a bounce. Actually, finding a bounce on this 200 uh, EMA, which is usually a good one uh, to bounce from. So uh, perhaps maybe this is uh, this could be a uh, bottom level. We'll have to wait it out to see how Bitcoin's going to react to all of this. Uh, Bitcoin is, uh, as you'd expect, finding a little bit of a bounce from just below 10,000, but but um, you know it's it's not likely to. Uh, to recover to the up, I would say at this point now, uh, being beneath this cloud um, is never a good sign. And um, also, this uh, golden cross has certainly been avoided. So this death cross is still playing out. And this death cross, when it took place, which was uh, over here, um, from there to there, was only a 10% drop. And you know we would have usually expected a 35% drop. Um, with uh, death cross, so if this is to be played out into its full extent, where we have a death cross here, price action here, 35 percent would be looking to bring us around the top 6,000. So this could be where we're looking to head head out now, then to around about 6,800. I mean that sounds that sounds crazy, I know, but that is generally the uh, that's generally the the idea behind a, a, a death cross, and it looks to me as though, in all fairness, it's it's likely to play out. So we'll just have a look on a quick five-minute job because obviously this this move has just happened. We wouldn't normally look at five-minute charts, but yeah, I mean, um, you're probably going to find a little bounce here, but not likely to bounce back up above this area. I would say uh, more likely to be rejected uh, around ten thousand one hundred um, if we were to try and bounce up that high. Very unlikely, to be honest with you. Um, probably find some some small recovery from here. This this move is only in its infancy. It's 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 playing out at the beginning of its you know of its move. So let's not go crazy on put, putting on massive shorts at this level. I would expect to see perhaps come up to test this area, breaking above ten thousand, perhaps before we get rejections. But um, the main the main area um, I would be looking at to place shorts. Um, would be once we've broken this blue box territory here, which is uh, going to be 
I mean, we're already testing it now on the 10,000, but uh, 9,800 might be a good entry point. Certainly down here at 9,200 to 9,000, and now if 9,000 breaks, then I would say that that 35% is is very likely to to uh, to play out. Um, as for EOS, and I don't know, you know, I don't know why I keep going to EOS. I mean, if you watch my previous videos, you'll 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 know why I have mentioned it. But as for EOS, we're going to be rejected within this cloud here now. Um, we do have a bit of a nice cross on the five minute, which isn't you know, doesn't really mean a great deal. Go to the hourly. We're still within a resistance box with the cross playing out. So I would wait for this one to to play out as well. I mean, all eyes are on Bitcoin. It's only when Bitcoin um, starts to uh, to make a, a a bigger directional change will we know what's going to happen with the alts. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, I hope you have a nice evening. Take care.